Mr. Robinson. And let me quickly interject this. Every person running for office, city council or for the office of mayor, uh, received an invitation to participate in this open forum this afternoon. running for office, city council or for the office of mayor, uh, received an invitation to participate in this open forum this afternoon. And we are so happy that the two of you took time from your schedule. And we know election is Tuesday, but the fact that you took time from your schedule says a lot, and we appreciate it. <laughs> Mr. Robinson, what is your vision for the city of Union Town? Well, yeah, yeah, you know, I like to see some transparency. You know, um, everything seems so secretive, or, you know, you've got to kind of be in the loop. You know, you're not, you know, uh, quote unquote certain people stand up the character, you know, saying that they don't want to be involved with you. Or if you act, simply ask yourself a concerned question, and if it's not in, you know, if it's not in their favor, then it seems as if, you know, everything just goes around. You know, every, you know everybody seems sort of divisive and things like that when it comes to asking questions about me in town. So I like to see, you know, I like to see some transparency. I, you know, I like to see everybody kind of coming together. I know um, Someone mentioned about the racial divide, and there is a big racial divide. We have a village, a community called a village. You know, and it seems as if they're not included in a lot of things that's happening in the community town. So I, I, I would like to see, you know, each side of town kind of getting a little more involved with what's going on because it's affecting everybody. Um, each of us has strengths and weaknesses. What do you consider are your strengths and why do you think you are qualified to be mayor of Uniontown? We're going to ask Mr. Robinson to respond to that question first, followed by Mr. Long. Well, I myself, I feel I'm a people person, you know, not afraid to ask for anything. <laughs> not afraid to kind of go and find out what's going on, you know, because, you know, we're not born to know what's happening, you know, you got to kind of go out and, you know, get training and, you know, get some experiences in life. And, you know, we have a lot of cities that's around us that seem to be going very well, the market is going pretty good, and I mean, I, I don't see why we can't at least, you know, try to take a page out of their book, whatever they're doing. And that, that can mean going to some of their city council meetings or reaching out to, you know, some of their city council. So just being able to be a people's person, being a people's person, and uh, being able to kind of bring people together and, uh, you know, get things done, moving things, you know. Um, someone mentioned, someone mentioned the uh, book bag in the landfill. You know, I'm, I'm, I've been very, uh, since I've been here, been uh, active in, you know, getting kids school supplies and things. And, you know, when I reached out to the landfill, I was one of the uh, people that I thought of. I mean, they're here, they're against the entity, they have business here, so why not? So, you know, out things, you know, things like that, just trying to get resources for kids and uh, people, you know, people sitting in town where it's And why do you think you are qualified to be mayor of Uniontown? Well, I think that's what you said. You know, I mean, look what we have now. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of the worst like, national time that I've ever seen, even from the time of Bachelor Mary going up to the next I've never seen it this bad. So I think just having all the uh, things that's happening and unfair and disrespect to the citizen, you know, it, it, it just encourages you to make sure you just have that passion and that, and that drive to just do, you know, do something. Okay. Mr. Long, what are, what do you consider your strengths, your weaknesses, and why do you think you are qualified to be mayor of Uniontown? First, my weakness is in 68 years old, you know, I'll have somebody else doing his job. <laughs> but, all right, my strengths. 
when I was a kid, I worked as a page in the House of Representatives and the Senate in the state. So I've got a rough idea of how the basics work over there. I took political science in college, which really doesn't teach a whole lot about how things work, you know, in state, uh, in state politics. But uh, I, when I went to college, I knew a lot of folks there. I was in a fraternity, met a lot of boys. Uh, I taught college at uh, MI in Judson. I don't think Judson would help me very much, but when I was teaching at MI, not only did I meet the cadets, but I met a ton of alumni who were all over the state. Anywhere I went, they said, oh, I went, I, you know, asked me what I do. You know, they said, oh, I went to MI. So I think I have the strength to network with people that are in business or know people that are in business that to, to, you know, connect with them. So, you know, I think, I think networking is a big thing as far as being able to put a plan together. Is that also your response to why you think you are qualified to be mayor of Uniontown? Yeah, and I forgot to add in, I was, when my dad was mayor, I saw how he operated, which may have not been the best way, if that's a matter of opinion, but I saw him bring in the steel mill, I, I saw him bring in the stockyards, I saw him bring yeah, in the steel I, I, you know, I, I know what it takes to get, you know, to bring in business and industry. All right.